Each flight aboard the International Space Station, called an expedition, lasts about six months. Similar to a temporary overseas assignment back on Earth, astronauts communicate with their families by telephone, email, or the Internet, but are still away from home for an extended period of time. This rotating mixture of astronauts and cosmonauts, representing five different space agencies, trains between two and four years prior to launch. The training facilities for astronauts and cosmonauts are located in Texas, Russia, Canada, Germany, and Japan. The habitation and life support systems provide a safe, comfortable, and livable environment in which crew members can conduct scientific research. The amenities include quarters for eating, sleeping, and exercising, environmental controls, medical and health support, and computing and data management. There is also a state-of-the-art recycling system that scrubs the air and liquid waste for reuse. But what is it like to move to space and live 240 miles above the Earth for months at a time? Crew members exercise to maintain muscle and bone strength, communicate with family and friends back on Earth, spend time sightseeing, and get together for dinner. And you're sitting there having a meal with Russians, Germans, French, American, African American, Asian American, this whole melting pot of people working together for the, for the common good of our civilization. Of course, living in microgravity is not all work, no play. Although the station is equipped with two bathrooms, bathing can present a challenge. When you're up living on the International Space Station, you might be six months without a real shower. Essentially, you have a, a, a sponge bath is what you do every day. And yeah, you do get pretty sweaty because you're working out. But surprisingly enough, um, when the shuttle crew came to pick me up, it was one of my first questions, do I smell? And they said I didn't smell, and they said my hair didn't look greasy, so I was, uh, I was pretty happy with that. 